usual Miami rainstorm. <laughs> I just have to accept my feet are about to get soaked. Let's talk about climate change. So first off, a geography lesson. Whenever people are talking about climate change, sea level rise, Miami, they're usually talking about Miami Beach. Miami and Miami Beach are two separate cities, completely separate governments, completely separate towns. This is Miami, the mainland. This is Miami Beach, seven square miles of islands. And if you're wondering, South Beach is an area in Miami Beach, but it is not a city in itself, it is just an area in Miami. So Miami Beach, 100 years ago, was a chain of mangrove swamps. You could barely call them an island. So most of the land that we're on, most of the land Miami Beach is built on, was created out of nothing. They dredged up dirt from the ocean, filled in these areas to create artificial islands, and basically built Miami Beach out of nothing. So because the land that we're on was not exactly supposed to be here, it was man-made, the ocean starts to reclaim what was originally hers. So beaches erode, land erodes, and then they have to get renourished. One of the other things we deal with is sea level and high tide and rising tides. Flooding wasn't really a big thing growing up. About five years ago, flooding started getting worse. It'd be about one week a year. Now flooding, what you saw earlier this week, that was just a normal rainstorm, which we get a lot of in the summer in Miami, and the streets flood. So flooding is much more frequent occurrence now due to sea level rise. Part of Miami Beach's plan right now to deal with the flooding is to install 60 pumps around the city. This is one of the 60 pumps that Miami Beach is installing at a cost of about $300 million to solve part of our flooding problem. It's not a solution, it is a stopgap. And the idea is they'll pump the water out faster than the city can flood. So when they install these pumps, they raise the streets, they raise the sidewalks, the level below the sidewalks by the storefronts is still at the old height. See how much higher I am than the sidewalk down there? This is the lower sidewalk. This is what they raise the street to. So that's kind of what we have to contend with. Pumps um, and rising sea level to shoot the water back out there. But we are sinking. We'll see what we can do about it. That was exactly what I needed. Some gassed workout, a workout to gas me out. Looking good. Yeah. Oh, I am like dirty in my chin. Oh yeah, you got filthy. Like nasty. First time I ever flip a tire in my life. Yeah, yeah it's funny, we never Keep do that this. back straight and just get underneath it. Yeah, use your fucking legs. Up, 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 up. Yeah, there you go. He's a fucking stud. Yeah, that looked perfect. <laughs> that was my last one. It's like uh, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. it's like a, it's like an angled deadlift. Exactly. Bye. Uh, thank you. So that workout was exactly what I needed. Something that totally gassed me, pushed me. It was a struggle to work through, so I could get through it and then do better next time. Here to buy supplies, try the chicken curry again.
gonna try Winston's chicken curry recipe again and see if I can get it right this time. Biggest thing, uh, more liquid, chicken broth, and let's cook time. That was close. Super tender. Gonna give it the taste test, but it looks like I did a whole lot better. So uh, I'm actually pretty excited about this. This looks really good. Mm. That was delicious. It'll never be like Winston's, but I think this is as close as I'm gonna get for now. As he says, with time, I will get it. The main takeaways, uh, less cook time for less meat and more liquid. So what I'm trying to document is a beach renourishment that's about to take place. Most of the islands we're on, they were all built, they are all dredged. Because these islands were not actually meant to be here, the ocean starts reclaiming the beach and the sand and the land that we're on. So um, they're about to truck in sand and they call it re uh, renourishment of the beach. Um, they truck in sand from elsewhere and then fill out the beach and expand it back to its former glory. I'm gonna come back in a few months or whatever it's done, and then hopefully if this works out right, I'm gonna overlay the before and after so you can see how much the beach gets expanded through video. Worst case, you'll see some before and after photos if it doesn't work out. There, I can head off to the next location. There, it's spot number two. Crazy ass storm is coming and I feel like I'm gonna be caught in it with my gear.